This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Hello, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the project you have all been waiting for, and that is an updated version to one of my most popular video tutorials, and that is the 10-minute table runner. And in this version, I'm going to show you how to customize it to any length that you want. Before we get started on today's project, I want to share with you one of my new favorite things, and that is HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service that makes cooking at home fun and easy. What I love most about HelloFresh is that it saves me the time of having to think about what I'm going to cook for dinner, which gives me more time for sewing. So let's go to my kitchen and take a quick little look-see at what my daughter Maria and I have cooked up using HelloFresh. Barbecue pork burgers. Ooh. Ooh. What do you think dad would like? Burgers, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Everything pre-packaged, pre-portioned out. Everything's all together. You don't have to run to the market, which do I like yeah, to go to the market? Yeah, she does not like going to the grocery store. No, I hate store. going to the grocery so store. So not, not fun yeah. for me. I get lost and everything. <laughs> so everything is all here for me, and I love that convenience. Should we get started on making those yeah, burgers? Yeah, let's make the burgers. You know, Mom, with our growing family, feeding all of us has never been easier. With HelloFresh's large box sizes, they have more servings, which means more savings. <laughs> Wow, this is really delicious. When did mom learn how to cook? Thanks, HelloFresh. It was delicious and so easy. Now go to HelloFresh.com and use my code SewingRoomChannel80 to get $80 off across five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Happy cooking! Remember, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code SewingRoomChannel80 to get $80 off across five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Now let's get started on the 10-minute table runner. If you are interested in making the original 10-minute table runner like this one here, then check for the link below your YouTube screen for the video link. Now for this longer version, I want to go over which fabrics, how much fabric you need to buy. So here's the center section. This is identified as fabric A. You will need a half a yard. Then this is fabric B. This is the border around the runner and it also folds around to the back. You will need one yard. When you purchase your fabric, it's folded in half with the selvage edges together. So this is a selvage edge. So you want to leave your fabric folded that way. And you're going to trim your raw edge straight before you get started. So I like to place the folded edge of my fabric on a line on my cutting mat. And then place this raw edge just past a line on your cutting mat so that you can line this up. And so I'm lining it up with a ruler with the line on the cutting mat. And then taking a rotary cutter and cut. And I like using a rotary cutter because you get much better accuracy and it's quicker. Now I'm going to move my ruler over 18 inches and cut a piece. So now I'm making sure this ruler is lined up on a line up here as well as down there. And then finish cutting your first piece. 
don't move your fabric, move it over again 18 inches and do your last cut. Now take the two pieces and stack them on top of each other. And you're going to trim the selvage edges off along here. So I've pulled those selvage edges past a line on my cutting mat. Place the ruler right on that line. Line it up. Always take your time doing this because you only get one chance to cut. And then go ahead and trim those selvage edges off. If I stitched my two pieces of fabric together, it would come out to about 84 inches long. I want my table runner to be 72 inches long, but I'm also going to add an extra inch in there for seam allowance. So I need to cut off 11 inches. So to speed up the cu cutting process, I've layered the two pieces of fabric together and divide that 11 inches by two. And then I'm gonna cut both ends off together. So I'm gonna cut off five and a half inches. So you need to just cut it whatever length you want. All right, so I'm lining up my ruler. I'm gonna cut off five and a half inches. And there you go. And you can just set this aside for some scrap project you want to do. Then you want to take your two ends and pin them together. And then stitch one quarter inch seam all along here. After stitching, then press this seam open. The section we just completed was for the border and the back of the table runner. Now to cut the piece for the center. You're going to leave your fabric folded just like you did on the other fabric. Have the selvage edges together. Make sure you cut that raw edge straight first. And then you're going to cut two pieces that are just nine inches wide. Then go ahead, cut them the same length that you did the other fabric, stitch them together, and press that seam open. This next step is just an option. You don't need to do this, but I like doing it because it gives the center of the table runner a lot of body, and I also like to do decorative top stitching, which I'll go into later. So remember, you don't have to do this step, but if you want to, you take your fabric, that center piece that goes down the middle of your table runner, and you have the back side of the fabric up. Then you take your iron-on interfacing and you put the glue side down on top. And by the way, you also cut it the same size as your fabric for the center. Then you're going to need a damp cloth and a hot iron with steam. Follow package instructions for fusing. But basically, you're just going to set the iron down, put the cloth on top of your fabric, then set your iron down, and hold it there anywhere from 12 to 15 seconds. And do that all the way down the full length. Now the other option is to do decorative stitching down that center piece. Again, you don't have to do this. So I've already got my interfacing fused on and I've done decorative stitching down that center section here. But this is what the stitching looks like because it really shows up on the back here. So you can either do straight lines of stitching or you can use a serpentine stitch. And most computerized sewing machines have that little wavy line. And I just lengthened the stitch long so it wasn't a real tight wave. And I did three rows going down the center from one end to the other, and then I went across like this. And it just adds a little more interest to your table runner. But remember, it's just an option. You don't have to do this. Now it's time to stitch your two sections of fabric together. So bring front sides together and line it up along one of the long edges. Then place pins to hold it together. Place pins all the way down. After you've finished pinning, then stitch one quarter inch seam all the way down to the other end. 
Now fold it in half, bringing the center section against the raw edge of the border and back section. So you're creating a tube is what you're doing right now. So line up these edges, pin them together all the way down the full length because that way you can hold your fabrics together better. And then stitch one quarter inch seam all the way down the full length. Now reach inside and grab the opposite end and begin turning it front side out. Now pull your border fabric all over on one side because my border fabric is the darkest fabric. So now I want to press this seam all the way down towards my darkest fabric. Now shift your center fabric to where it's right in the center and just take a little ruler or sewing gauge of some type and measure to make sure you have the same amount on each side and then press your edges all the way down. Place the back side of your table runner facing up. Then fold it in half and line up your edges along each end and place pins along there to hold it in place. Then you're gonna stitch one quarter inch seam right along here and do the same thing at the opposite end. Trim some of the fabric off at this corner and this is the folded edge right along here. So this is the corner that you need to trim it off on and trim it to where that seam is about an eighth of an inch wide and you only need to do it up near the corner. And there you go. Now at each end you're going to turn it to where this back side is now going to face out. So just push this corner out like that. and poke the corner out and then flatten this and then press each end. After you've pressed each end, then you want to stitch this section down. So stitch right along the edge, along here, and then go to the other end and do the same thing. Then you want to do something called stitch in the ditch. And that's where these two pieces of fabric come together. And you just stitch right along there all the way down and on the opposite side all the way down and then you're all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. For other table runner projects, check below your YouTube screen for the video links. Thanks for watching and happy sewing! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell and enter your email address so you receive email notifications about my latest videos. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing!